Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game Out Buddies by Julian Laufer and published by Head Up. Is this a one person game? If so, that's awesome. I'm always intrigued when I see one person games. New game, low game, achievements. Ooh, tell me more. Convince Uncle Topa to go home, press Steam to activate in midair, slowly drains your Steam meter. Okay. Uh, says. I love stories of the beginning. Ow! Oh, banged my hand really hard. Okay. And what happens if no one speaks his names? Is that good or bad? Oh, and that's why he creates things. So that they can worship him. God's creating people out of loneliness. Such narcissism. Well, that's pretty badass. And now I'm going to hunt it. With, based on my look, a bunch of crazy egg-shaped robot things. Oh, he's got a Zeppelin! Sorry, not a Zeppelin, a Skyship. This is a rocking beat. Happen after an infusion started waiting for a subject response. Yay! The hell? Balam, 36,000 feet below sea level, proceeding with biomechanical armor synthesis. Okay. LB or LT? Nice. Alright, let's do this. So it looks like an old Amstrad style game, although obviously with better graphics. Call, pause menu, start, choose a symbol with a joystick, equipment status, move the map with the right stick. Look at co-op, call the menu. Well, I'm not going to be playing co-op. Okay. Oh, cool. Look at this little map. Lost runes, you died zero times. So far, that's good. I've rescued zero Wozans. I'm a little upset about that, but what are you going to do? I have no gear and no guns. But I am getting a phone call. Be right back. I looked at the number and the phone call was a scam, so I'm not answering it. Saying nuts to you, buddy boy. I thought that was something I could jump on. I was clearly wrong. I can swim! Ah, oh. So nice to be able to swim without worrying about oxygen running out. I can't shoot yet, can I? Because I don't have a gun. Wait, I don't understand. How can there be water above me, but not... Huh? Ladder to climb? Oh, slow motion climbing. Hold the action button to run LB or LT. Nice work. There's my dive roll. Or jump. Well, yeah, obviously. Although I say obviously, some games only let you jump one amount, and that's part of the design. Okay. Nice. Already kicking ass. Uh oh, monsters. We got monsters. Steam button. Oh, that one's on me. Should have waited until there was more of a gap. So it is very Metroid-y, except they gave us the uh, ball power instantaneously rather than make... Wow, it really is Metroid-y, isn't it? They're not screwing around and, uh, with their influences. Okay. 
Okay. Whoa! It's okay. Nothing to worry about. Just a weird red crab lying on the ground. I mean, I know you're also crabs. It's cool. Nothing to see here. Does the science make sense? Of course not. Is it awesome? Yes. Tell me more. Oh. Nice. That's right, I've been paying attention. That was too close. I'm already down to one hit point. I don't want to get killed again. You have telekinetic powers? Steam button and selection, okay. Why is it not moving? Sorry, how do I do that again? Press up. I'm so confused right now. Maybe I'm pressing the wrong button? How do we work this telekinesis again? Okay, move right, steam, dodge, call, buddy, shift. No, I want to do gamepad. Uh, generic gamepad, yeah, that's fine. Uh, run, fire, d-pad, toggle, shift, gun. Aim, left trigger, right trigger, aim, upward, strafe, rotate, keychain. Whatever that is. Shift, gun, y, call, menu, start. So you press up to control him, and down to go back. Actually, you can press up or down, doesn't matter what direction you press. Wait, maybe I can grab my friend? Nope. Oh wait, I can jump on that. That's what I should have been doing this whole time. Once I'm on top of it. So if I press a button, I can make that rotate left or right. It doesn't seem to do anything. I feel like I missed an important instruction or did not understand an important instruction. Now there's no way to... Oh, here we go. You have to hold down A. No, that's also not working. All right, let me move off of this. So, I switch to him. I hold down A. I press... The no, that's not working either. Hold on. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, you had to press the steam button. 
Why is it going up? If I'm over the object center, I will pull. If I'm under an object, I will push. Hold the jump button to rotate the object. The plasma stream indicates the location and depends on my position relative to the object. Okay. I see. Got it. All right, perfect. Uh, fun fact: when you load the game, when you load, whenever you uh, pause the game or do anything, uh, even change locations, according to my screen game recording program, why am I continuing to try to do this rather than just moving the other one? Uh, but anyway, according to my game pro uh, recording program, it shuts down and starts a new instance of the game. So I've already got like eight videos of the game. <laughs> Uh, so I have restarted and recording the screen now instead of the game program. You found the Seahorse Revolver, an ancient living weapon with an ever-fusing power cord. Nice. Nice. Seems to have unlimited ammo, too. As Metroid tributes go, this one is pretty cute. So I can murder these guys now? Oh, hell yes I can. Ow, probably should have thought that through. Oh, Metroids. Such a good genre. Awesome. I can shoot down! Nice. As long as there isn't a Ridley or Kraid running around, I should be good. Right? No. Ow! So. What? Why can I not jump off that second wall? What's happening here? Wait, how am I suddenly not knowing how to do the, uh... I've suddenly forgotten how to do the uh, wall jump. Uh, no, I want to get the map out. I think I have to go back this way. Which is very upsetting because I can't seem to make the wall jump work. There we go. I was pushing the wrong way, is what was happening there. How do I get health back? Is that something we can discuss, game, or am I just going to be stuck having one health forever? I'm being overdramatic. Obviously, there's a way to get health back. The game just hasn't told me yet. And it's not walking through the bloody clouds left by a dead guy. Although, that would have made my life a lot easier. Alright, so down here is a door that I... Can I open that with my regular gun? Let's find out. I can. Nice. I think this is the way we're supposed to go. Uh, to save your progress, activate these artifacts by pressing the action button LB or LT. So I saved my progress just then. Nice. Can I do that whenever I want, or is there like a, a time limit on that? Uh, sorry, a number of uses limitation. Whoa! Sorry, buddy. So what are those things I'm picking up? Is that health? Is that cash? What the hey? It's health. It's health. I went from a blue heart to a green heart and then back up to a blue heart. I should be sprinting and... Yeah, okay. That one's on me. Whoa. He looks like he can't believe he's missing me. Ow. 
No! You son of a... I mean, I'm a little sad to have murdered you, but not that sad. You're kind of a dick to me. I wonder if I can duck under that guy's shots. That's something to look into later. Oh, I can't get into that. Oh, we might be able to destroy those bricks later. Hmm. Alright, let's see about getting this guy. Far from my finest hour. Wait, was there some place down there I was supposed to explore, but I didn't? Oh, damn it, I forgot he can do that, which is a bad thing to forget, because it's his only attack. That's like, uh... Forgetting the drill monsters can dive down at you in Metroid. It's just... Pay attention, Hover. Alright. I'm going this way. Oh yeah, look at that. Surprisingly detailed map. That's where I went down. That's where I went back up. The purple is the save point. The blue is something. I don't know what it is yet. So now I can open this. It's interesting, because at the top right, we have the most basic map in the world, and down here... No! I think I'm supposed to get a freeze gun that I use to turn those guys into platforms to jump on. And I'm basing that not on anything the game has told me, but, you know, my history with the game Metroid. I feel like abusing my net Metroid knowledge is going to do very well for me playing this game. In my defense, that really looks like something you can stand on. Yeah! So what are those three dots under my face? So they don't seem related to my health at all. Oh good, the crab is back. I just had to take the hit, and I didn't really have a move there. It takes so long to die, it's weirdly upsetting. Why can I not climb down? Oh, I see. Sorry, pal. Ow! Oh, I thought I was dodging. I am not good at dodging. And now I'm dead. Somebody drop some health, okay? Oh, he did drop health. Mental note. Remember to sprint? You got a sprint button to help you with these jumps, Hoboru. Start using it. Okay. Oh, good. Give me back plenty of health. More guys I'm supposed to use a platform to get up there and get that thing. So I gotta get this freeze ray as quickly as possible. I assume it's a freeze ray. That's not based on anything other than my own assumptions. Yes, I saw I can go south, but I wanted to check out here first. Okay. Nope. Oh, wait, there's a telekinesis thing. Can't pick up my own guy, huh? Probably should uh, stop using that before this guy gets hit. Yeah, that'd be good. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any activity that this will help me with. I will check. I just don't see one. it over here, but that doesn't get me anything. No, it's too big for that, huh? I guess later I could use it to jump up. No, I would have to jump higher. Alright, let's just go through the door downstairs for now and worry about that stuff later. Any 
need to be more careful than I'm being. Which is tough. Okay. No! Damn. Look out for that swarm fish, huh? What is that blue circle there? I mean, maybe it's supposed to be a diamond. It's hard to tell with only four pixels arranged in a nine pixel space. So I definitely can't open those kinds of doors. But at least now I know that thing on the map is door. So I'm learning. Fighting souls from the sky. Nope. Alright, so I need a yellow laser and a purple laser. So hopefully that is freeze ray and screw attack. Okay, now way over here. Let me check something. Yeah, okay, I thought maybe I could hold it down to go longer, but no. I'm so confused about where I'm supposed to go here. But those two don't connect to anything. And I can't open any of those doors. Now I'm very puzzled. Was I supposed to do something in the top left there after I got my pistol? So I don't think I can get back up to the place I have to go. I can't go right. Oh, what if there was a thing to grab with telekinesis off to the right and I just didn't bother looking for it? That could be it. Okay. Let's go look for that, huh? Hey, what's that creepy monster in the background there? What's that about? Okay. Okay, I can't get up that way. Lesson learned. Always trying to do something in a fat and see fashion. And you just cause problems for yourself, huh, Guru? You know there was a ladder. You're so desperate to triangle jump, you're like, I'm too good for ladders. One of those days. Now let's do it. I'm psyched to have to kill these guys again, because these fights tend to not go well for me. Alright. I gotta just learn to time that jump. I forgot how many of them there were. Seriously, I'm not even trying to jump over this stuff. What's wrong with me? Alright. Music's getting intense, that's something. And they refuse to drop health, because of course they do. Come on! Oh wait, I can just roll through him, can't I? I totally forgot that I can just roll through him. And just get on the ladder and flee. Whoa! Is that the best solution to my problems? Let's see if I can get some health first. I can't. Do I get some health if I grab the uh, save point? I did. You do. You get health for grabbing the save point. Okay, that's that's a load off my mind. Hopefully, I get a jetpack sooner rather than. Tell you what, I'm just gonna pinch myself every time I forget that there's a uh, sprint button. That should solve the problem, right? Whoa!
Whoa, that was closer than I would have liked. Let's go scat around with this kitty cat. Okay, I was wrong. There's no platform to climb on. What am I missing here? Alright, so. This room I can't get through because there are spikes in the ground. And look over here. There's... I'm not... I mean, later I am obviously going to have a freeze ray to lock those guys in place. And then I'll be fine to move through there. Right? Clearly. But, for now, I can't. Ah, I gotta burn our gun timing that dive better, too. Dive. Alright, so let's look at the map. Right here, no way through. There, no way through. Can't get back up. The only door is over here to the left, but I haven't been able to get up to that door because there's no brick to get me there. So let's try that one more time. Like that literally can be the only way for me to go because there's no other blue doors. I'm puzzled is the point. Alright, so I can just skip past this guy, right? Ow! There were bad guys waiting for me on the ground. I feel very stupid now. Alright, so. Sorry, buddy. I know, uh, Scorpion's gonna scorp. But what did you want me to do in this situation other than murder you? Okay, so going down there is a death sentence. There was a ladder, everybody. I was too blind to see a ladder. If you could never tell anybody about that ever, that would be great. No! Come on! Jerk. What does that do? Freedom is an um, uh, omnipotent submolecularism derived from the birth of our galaxy. It's great. The old creators used creating powers to shape the city and even create... Okay. Three protocols to unlock the first level of creating alteration abilities. That sounds great. Although I don't know if I feel good about giving you that kind of power. Weird hover bot whose motives I don't trust. Okay. So I just sprint over here. Uh, switch to my cortex and hold the jump button. I am holding the jump button. Oh, that's what that's for. Okay. So the various items of use in the uh, environment, you can tell me what they're for. There we go. Done and done. We did it, everybody. We made it out of the room that I thought I was trapped in because I didn't pay attention to walls. See, that is a ladder. To me, it looks like spikes. But what do I know? Right, so there's a blue door at the other end of this and no bonuses to pick up. Okay, you can shoot while attached. You know, I've already been doing that. Ah. Okay. Come on! Okay. Well, that sucked.
What am I doing wrong here? Oh, maybe I should just sprint off the edge. Nope, that didn't work either. I'm just trying not to get hit by the spikes, and it's not doing well for me. Okay, wait. Are the three dots above the heart... Each individual heart has three dots to it, and when I take three points of dot damage, then the heart goes down? Or am I just reading way too much into the fact that one of the hearts seems to... Uh, if that's what it is... Ah! Three dots you pick up makes equals one heart. That's what it is. No, that's not it either. Damn it! I don't understand this system at all. I need health is what I need. doesn't feel safe. Avoid spikes by using this. I can avoid spikes by using the steamroll? Are you kidding me? No, I don't want to do two player. Okay. Alright, here we go. Okay, well I feel very embarrassed now. Alright, I don't know what the dots are for. I've completely misunderstood every part of- Ow! What is happening here? Well, that sucked. Let's be more careful than I've been being. Alright, let's... Well, I can't destroy it. Do I need to go find bombs somewhere? Is that what this room is for? Maybe down there. I know I could drop straight through those, but I'm very paranoid now. Aha! For once I dodged one! And then he died. Nice. I'm gonna have my dude scout ahead. Thank you very much. This feels safe. How do I rotate them? There we go. Alright. Now the spikes are covered up, so it should be good for me to jump down there. You can't shoot while you're crawling in case you're wondering. Just tested that. Seems like a good place for bombs to turn up. Just putting that out there. Oh, they can't drop sideways. That's something I didn't know. Oh, creepy Geiger-style living pulsing walls. I'm surprised by your appearance here. What is that, bomb? Okay. Crouching stance, pressing action... And we'll attach a bomb to the enemy. Wow! Alright, so... Oh! You can't do, uh... series of bombs to make them, uh... To make yourself fly into the air like you can in Metroid? Because you can only place the bombs against things, so that's a bit of a disappointment. But a minor disappointment. You're not going to hear me bitching about this. It's still badass. So P is a power-up I've got. Gotcha. Right, yes, I was supposed to go and grab this thing. Um, grab. Why is it flying the other way? I was below it, yes. The weird heartbeat that plays when I use that power freaks No! Oh my god! What is wrong with me? I forgot to switch to him first? That was really bad. Oh, gah, I got scared there. 
Hopefully he doesn't know I'm here. He doesn't. Good. Once I would like to kill one of those guys without getting hit first. One time. Okay, we did it. So is this the destroyable wall? I can't really see the difference, so it's the things that look like eyeballs? Alright, it's the things that look like eyeballs we can blow up, everybody. It's unbelievably creepy. Can I blow them up here? So it's very destru uh sorry, it's very restrictive where you can actually use the uh, eyeball bomb. Oh, and it counts as a secret path you can't see through. That is interesting. Neat. Health. I knew you were going to drop on me. I saw it coming. You thought you had me surprised. You didn't have me surprised. My complete inability to remember I have the access, access to a sprint button. That is proving to be a surprise. But the rest of this, no. I know what's going on. Okay. Careful. What the hell just happened? Who hit me? Oh, can they do like a super dive to kill me? And I shouldn't see it coming? Yep, they do a dive. I just didn't see it. Alright, which way am I supposed to go? Up or down? I'm gonna guess up because this is a video game. Do that after. Oh, hello! Looks like there's a platform I'm gonna have to sit this thing off after I've used, on after I've used it to move. Ah, I remembered what buttons do. Oh. The switch, right, we just discussed this. Come on, you got this. Figured it out all on my lonesome. I mean, I've had to figure out everything on my lonesome in this game. The game has uh, been okay with tips, but not great. Let's see what this room looks like. Oh, that's one hell of a room. A save point, you say? Yes, I will take a save point. Thank you kindly. Not just because I desperately need the health, although mostly because I desperately need the health. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Oh, ideal. Alright, so... Wait, I can't get it? Very angry right now. So that's the second of my reality warping chips, right? Lots of triangle jumping in this. I'm trying to remember what game I first saw triangle jumping in. And it must have been called triangle jumping in that game, because for the rest of my life I've called it triangle jumping instead of the preferred wall jumping. Oh, I just can't get down there yet? Alright, so I can't get through that wall. I have to go up from somewhere else. And there's the save point, which is locked away from me. Fantastic. Let's see if I can move this thing. I can, huh? Tell me more, tell me more. 
See, that time the Tell Me War was a reference to, uh... Greece. Because I said it twice. Normally when I say, hmm, tell me more. Not a reference to Greece. Hold your aim line by holding... A ah! Nice! So I can aim down and just float around, shooting down. Nice. Oh, I was gonna make life so much easier. I gotta say, those creatures make more sense in an underwater setting, and that's true even when creatures like that were in um, Metroid. Like, there are things that are mollusks, clearly, in games like Metroid, and to a lesser extent, greater extent, Deadly Towers. But this is the first time I've uh, seen one looking just like that, but it is actually in an underwater setting, so bravo. I might be being excessively violent with these underwater creatures who've never done anything to me, but what can I say? I'm paranoid. So now I don't know when these exploding walls are going to be, which means I'm probably going to miss a ton of secrets in this game. I'd have no uh, possible hope of rescuing all of the huffer fur 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 furs. I've forgotten what they're called. Uh, Wozen. Huffer fur 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 furs is probably not the name they prefer to go by. I apologize for using it. Ah! Oh, God. Come on! See, my problem is they can fly through walls. Is that my only problem? It is a problem. What am I doing? I almost died just then. What is the treasure of the old ones? What does it do? Tell me more. Other than give me full health. The full health was nice, though. What is that up there? Oh, it's a tutorial message. Yes. Should have recognized that. I will say this, as much as I got my ass kicked just then, uh, swimming is still preferable to uh, platforming. Much easier. Okay, well now I am confused, because I thought it said there was a... That was awesome. Okay, well what are you for, map? I'm right here next to the floating dealy, and there's nothing here. I'm angry. Ah, uh, whatever. Am I co plausibly, possibly causing problems by shooting constantly? I do like that because they're all airlocks, you can have, and I just got this, that I didn't understand that it was Metroid-like airlocks, so of course you can have, uh stuff on one, uh, water on one side and air on the other. It's an air lock. Oh, thank God. Alright, everybody, we saved. Uh, that just makes, gonna make this a perfect time to take a break. I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comments section below the video. I will see you back here for more out buddies, which is a pretty awesome Metroid alike, like pure Metroid alike. None of that Vania in there. Uh, but until then, I'm going to say au revoir. <laughs>